Hi everyone, so today we're gonna do a simple simulation to prove this uh, circuit that you are seeing on the screen. Okay, so here we have an uh, inverting amplifier, okay, with a parameter given, okay, and the the expected output should produce 10 volt, negative 10 volt. Alright, so we're gonna simulate that. Okay, so for that we're gonna use produce 8.8. .8. Okay, here we have the part. Okay, 7.4 if you can see. Clearly, 741 is an IC operational amplifier. Then we're going to use resistor. Then we're going to use um, uh, sine voltage source, alternating source. Eh? All right. So we also going to use uh, DC source. So these are the these are the parts that we going to use for this uh, demonstration. Okay. So first, we're going to place our operational amplifier. And uh, since we are going to do an inverting. Uh, amplifier okay so look back here inverting okay here this is what we are supposed to connect with the source and the positive should connect to your ground okay so we're gonna use the ground here okay positive has to be connected to ground so we're gonna connect this to a ground okay so we're gonna use our source here okay the source and we're gonna use the resistor. Okay, this one is connected to resistor, and this one is close through your input, and this one we can connect to a ground. Okay, then we have a feedback resistor over here, okay, which is connected to your input, and there is a output. Okay, since we are using IC, okay, so we have to give a power source for the IC to function. So for that, we're gonna use this one. Okay, so let's make a nice connection here. Okay, then another one over here. Okay. If you notice once I connect okay connect to the pin here 4 and 7 so it indicates the type of voltage that you must supply here it is negative and here it is positive okay so you have to provide a, po uh, uh, a negative supply here and a positive supply here okay so before we set uh, uh, parameters let's look back on the value that we are supposed to set R1 is 100 kilo ohms RF is 500 kilo ohms okay and the V is supposed to be 2 volt okay R1 is 100 kilo ohms yeah. okay, edit parameter 100 and this one is edit parameter 500 500k and this one is 2 volt Okay, according to the data sheet, okay, uh, we have to provide 15 volt. Okay, for this one is negative 15, and this one will be positive 15. Okay, so now we gonna measure the output. So for that, we gonna use this voltage source so let's measure maybe like input here okay if we want to place an output over here okay you can just place like that okay so this is your output and this is your input so i think uh, we are good to go let's simulate okay so over here you notice that the output is negative 9.48 somewhere around 10 okay so which is similar to the calculation over here it's about 10 okay now let's do a little bit of tweaking here so we're gonna change this to alternating source and we're gonna monitor the output okay let's do that okay go back to your parts Okay, so for that we remove this, place a V source, alternating V source, so I connect here, this one connects here, okay, we do a nice connection here, okay, 
so for this you have to set a parameter okay amplitude maybe we can put 20 okay uh, frequency 1 kilo hertz okay now when you are using uh, alternating source okay it is always good to use oscilloscope to see the changes okay so for that I'm gonna use oscilloscope here okay I'm gonna place my oscilloscope I want to see what is happening at my input okay so I'm just gonna connect connect here input and I also want to know what is happening at my output okay so I just connected my channel A to input my channel C to my output so let's simulate okay so now you're getting a waveform over here a nice waveform over here okay so this is your input and this is what you are getting over the output okay you can do more tweaking on the oscilloscope okay do some adjustment to get your desired value okay so I guess this will be very helpful tutorial video okay guys see you